Hey guys, Predsley here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about some more Predator figure news. But before we jump to the news that I have for today, uh, some of the news that I have is a bit old, unfortunately. That is because I, well, I, <laughs> I have been holding on to some of the news that I have for a while because I was waiting for more news to come out, but then unfortunately it didn't happen. So... Some of the news that I do have is a bit old. I do have one thing that is new, which is pretty good, but it would have been nice if everything I had was new. But the first thing that we have is we have concept art of the NECA Ultimate Scout Predators box, which isn't necessarily concept art. It's, you know, basically the box. This is what the final box is going to look like. But the box isn't, you know, folded into, you know, the box. So I figured, you know, might as well just call it concept art. You, you know, you never know. Maybe they they might change something to it. So, you know, you can still call it concept art. Because it's not the official box yet. Which I'm 99% sure this is what the box is going to look like. Uh, the art for the box looks really cool. I, uh, I do like it. Uh, the art style is a bit odd, not gonna lie. Uh, I figured the art style would be similar to the Alpha Predators box art, but this is, uh, when I look at it, I kind of get like a dark, gritty, realistic comic book art style. At least that's what I see. Uh, I'm could be wrong there could be like a different term for what it is i would imagine that there is i have i have really no idea but i feel like i've seen a comic book that had a similar art style to this uh so i think it looks pretty cool and um scout predator in this art looks i think really cool you know he's kind of like sitting there on the ledge of a building and holding his uh plasma rifle and I would imagine getting ready to shoot somebody, maybe. <laughs> Honestly, when I see this, it, I kind of get like a, a bounty hunter feeling from Scout Predator. Like he goes around and does bounties and, you know, uses his plasma rifle as kind of like a sniper rifle. And, uh, you know, collects bounties and trophies and maybe even gets like Predator currency out of it. I don't know. I don't even know if predators have a type of money. I imagine that they do. Maybe they like buy uh, upgraded armor and weapons and food if they eat food, which I would imagine they do. But I, I really, really have no idea. And also, we get our first glimpses at the other Ultimate Lost Tribe figures. Uh, some we, of course, have already seen. But others we haven't seen, which is pretty cool. Even though it's only, like, their heads. So, but it's still pretty cool to get, like, our kind of first looks at them. Next we have is the NECA Ultimate Lost Armored Predators box. The art for the box, you know, similar style to the Scout Predators. Uh, I think this one looks really cool. I, I You know, Lost Armor is climbing over a fence using a chain to like lift himself up uh there are like three versions of this art uh one of them that is completely different from the art and two being this one and then another one being very similar this one you know of course being on the box and then the other one was more bloody i'm pretty sure i can't remember because i reported on that like a while ago so i can't remember exactly but the other one, which is what I would have preferred to be on the box, was of, you know, Lost Armor Predator. And he had his sword, like, over his shoulder, and he was holding it. And he had, like, his head kind of lifted up. I thought that looked pretty cool. But, you know, this is still equally as cool. And then we also have a actual concept art version of this art, which is just the same thing, but in black and white. Uh, next we have is the NECA Ultimate Lost Armored Predator Toy Arc Photo Gallery, which also has a few images of the box. 
Uh, I don't have all the images from the photo gallery, so I will have the link for that in the description below if you would like to check out more of Toy Arc's photo gallery of this figure. Uh, I think to Toy Arc's photo galleries are always amazing. They do a fantastic job with their photo galleries. Uh, and actually looking at the photo gallery has made me realize that there is, there were, you know, I always knew that there was going to be two heads, but not in the way I thought. I thought there was an unmasked head and then a masked head, which turns out to be a unmasked head and another unmasked head. And then the mask goes on the one ma unmasked head, which isn't roaring. The other unmasked head is roaring. I didn't know this, um until I looked at the photo gallery, so that is pretty interesting. Hopefully the mask goes on the head good and doesn't like go on there and falls off very easily. That has been a, a pretty common thing to happen with that kind of situation sometimes. Uh, mainly I've had that happen with my, uh, I think his name is Hornhead Predator. I can't remember. But his mask, I put it on and like his, you know, he has his two horns on his head and it always makes the head or the mask pop off. So, you know, he doesn't have horns on his head and the uh, Lost Arm Predator doesn't. So maybe he won't do that. Also, uh, the Lost Armor Predator has LED lights in the mask, which I think is pretty cool. I didn't know if it did or not at first. I, I when At first I thought it did and then... And then I thought it was just painted on to look like it was, you know, shining. And then I was like, oh yeah, it's it's definitely LED, which is pretty cool. So I would imagine you just take off the mask and there's like a switch or button or something that you press that turns it on. Uh, I'm not sure how you would get the battery for the LED in there, but maybe it'll become more clear once... We can actually, or at least I can actually hold a figure in my hand because the figure is basically already out. But I haven't seen anyone saying that they got it, so I've, I have no idea what's going on with that. But the figure did come out two days ago. Uh, I didn't see NECA post about it, but it, on their calendar it said it came out, comes out on September 22nd. So, and you know, it's September 24th, so... Two days ago, uh, but like yeah, I'm pretty sure last weekend is when it came out on Amazon and eBay, uh, which is sold out already. So I'm hoping to be able to find it in stores. If not, then I will have to try to wait and maybe it'll come back on Amazon and eBay. But they, when they posted about it, they said in limited quantities, so that might mean that they're only doing it for this time and then they're not doing it again which i would doubt that's what they're doing but i i really have no idea maybe that just means that they only have a limited amount on amazon and ebay right now and then they're going to put more on there later on for restock which i would imagine they're probably going to do next month or possibly in the next few days but you know who knows Next we have, out of NECA stuff, we have Prime One Studios Predator Killer Statue. This looks absolutely amazing. I am in love with this statue. Uh, I didn't really like the idea of Predator Killer. I didn't like how it looked, mainly in the movie, because the CGI was pretty bad. But after looking at this statue, I just completely <laughs> fell in love with the Predator Killer. Um, I, I like the idea of the Predator Killer, but I don't like how it was executed in the film. Personally, I would have done it differently, but I'll, I'll talk more about that here in a bit. Uh, we have a few images of the Predator Killer, which the amount of detail in this is just fantastic. I would imagine this is probably going to be around $500, maybe even more. I really don't know. I don't even know how big it is. 
because as far as I know, this is all we have on this. So we just have images of, you know, it was revealed. I don't know if there's any other info about the statue. So, you know, this is all we got so far, which I will update y'all when we get more information. If there is more information, then that'll just be upsetting and I'll have to wait till next video <laughs> to talk about it. But... Uh, what I was talking about for the idea of the Predator Killer is what I would have done is like say the elite Predators are working on nanotech to like upgrade the uh, Predator technology and then one of the elites that is like close to the project ends up coming, coming obsessed with it and then gets very protective about it. And then, you know, starts to lose his sanity and then starts wearing it and, you know, ends up killing predators that, you know, try to take it from him. And then he ends up becoming a bad blood and ends up becoming like a bad blood leader. I thought that, I think that'd be a pretty cool uh, story. Like, one of the elite predators ends up losing himself to this technology and... You know, ends up becoming, uh, what his plan doesn't like, which is, you know, a bad blood. So, I, I think that'd be pretty cool. And then he's, like, leader of a bad blood clan. I think that'd be a pretty interesting idea. But let me know what you think. And also, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's all we have for now, which I wouldn't really expect anything else to come out anytime soon, but, you know, only the matter of hope can succeed or something, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.